Today, December 9, 2020, for this very first Suez Innovation Demo Day, Suez teams with our customers and partners are pleased to invite you to a world tour of Suez new solutions to support a green and inclusive recovery. We have set up nine webinars starting in Australia at 11.30 a.m., ending in the U.S. at 11.30 p.m. Indian time, going through China and Southeast Asia, India, France, Spain and Chile, to dive together into the heart of circular economy, open innovation, zero waste, zero carbon, digital, health and environment interactions, climate change and emerging risks, IoT for industry. For this coming hour, let's deep dive in the Indian stop and see how social innovation and inclusiveness can contribute to performing water services and benefit to the citizens. And first, I would like to give the floor to Mr. Shyamban, our Suez India CEO, for a brief about the current challenges in the region and our rebound strategy. Mr. Ban, the floor is yours. Thank you, Nicola, uh, for the introduction. And first of all, uh, greetings to everybody who has uh, uh, joined this uh, webinar. And of course, uh, uh, we are honored to follow our colleagues from Australia and China to showcase our region, specifically our, our country, India. Uh, just as an intro, uh, uh, I always think of uh, my country as, as, as a rainbow coalition. There is nothing uh, heterogeneous about our country from north to south, southeast to west. You see a mosaic of people uh religions diversity uh united under all one one single uh, banner that we're all indians and we're very proud of our nation and our diversity and inclusion but of course uh, india also has uh, has as many challenges we have a very uh, large population so density of population tends to be relatively high uh industrialization metro concentration etc provides uh, a lot of challenges uh, although I said we are a rainbow, but one thing common to this rainbow coalition of heterogeneous uh, 1.4 billion Indians is the challenge of enough uh, resources, uh, most profound of which is water. Uh, India's population, uh, 1.4 billion, but India's water assets available to service the population, uh, very, very tiny compared to what is really required. So uh, whilst uh, the theme today is uh, innovation uh, for a rebound and green recovery, uh, our uh, showcase uh, of projects and uh, we have focused on uh, what our group today is, what is the purpose of our group, which is a sustainable and future environment in our future now, uh, juxtaposed next to the four core values of our group, passion for environment, customer first team spirit and respect for all our stakeholders who do business with us, who do business wherever we are and are part of it. So we have 
chosen uh, two uh, uh, examples of fundamental sustainability and conservation. This is as basic as you can get. Uh, in both of these projects, uh, Suez in India has deployed a lot of technologies and tools which can be classified as technological innovations, digital applications, uh, software applications, models, etc. But where we have focused is at the very basic level, sustainability of, of conservation at people level, consumer level. We go, will go to the city of Kolkata, uh, which has a water services project uh, and the people and the stakeholders from our officials and, and, and other residents and the community activists will talk about it. And then we'll go to, down south to Coimbatore, which is a concession of almost 1.2 million people and uh, where, again, stakeholders and others will be the best advocates to tell you about what the project is and what, what, what we are doing, besides the technology and the engineering component of it. Our focus today is sustainability and conservation and how communities and activists and public and the officials are engaged with us in both of these places. I thought that was a good, uh, good theme to sort of set up because at the end of it all, technology, innovation, design, applications, products, unless they relate to communities and unless communities buy into them and become testimonials and ambassadors to sort of propagate the message, all the technology and all the product and all the innovation you might come up with uh, will not deliver a whole lot of value to the ultimate. So our project and our presentation is about community engagement, both ways, two-way traffic. And with that, uh, thank you very much again. Whoever is on 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 uh, logged in, listening to our parts of the world, including uh, my colleagues within Swiss and outside, and uh, uh, wish you a good reception for the next uh, 50 odd minutes uh, from India. Thank you. Back to you, Nicola. Thanks. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Ban, for this address, uh, which sets an inspiring and ambitious uh, route. So in India, uh, eight large municipalities have already entrusted us with uh, drinking water services management. The purpose is to improve the level of service rendered to the citizens 24 by 7, or at least equitable supply of quality and pressurized water. This requires investments to upgrade the assets and digital technologies for smart and efficient operations. But technology doesn't make everything. A key enabler is the engagement of citizens and stakeholders. This is why we developed innovative approaches for community and stakeholders engagement in all areas of our operations. I would like to take you first to Kolkata, where Suez launched the Jal Bandhu Water Conservation Initiative. More than 600 uh, women ambassadors for the communities are engaged every day and are promoting behavioral change. And as you will see in the short uh, upcoming video, it works. জলবন্ধু হলো মানুষের ব্যবহারিক পরিবর্তনের মাধ্যমে জলকে সংরক্ষণের সুয়েজের একটা প্রচেষ্টা যেখানে সেলফ হেল্প গ্রুপের যে মেম্বাররা রয়েছে সদস্যরা রয়েছে তারা এলাকারই মেম্বার তারাই এলাকার মানুষকে গিয়ে জল সম্বন্ধে বোঝাচ্ছে এবং জলকে বাঁচাতে সাহায্য করছে সালে কর্পোরেশন লোক এসে আমাদেরকে বোঝালো যে সেলফ হেল্প গ্রুপ করলে আপনাদের অনেক রকম সুবিধা আছে প্রত্যেককে যদি 50 টাকা করে রাখি টাকার প্রবলেম যেগুলো আছে সেগুলো সলভ হবে 2017 সুইচ জলবন্ধু প্রকল্প আমাদেরকে এসে বোঝালো জল অপচয় নষ্ট হলে আমাদেরই ক্ষতি অনেক মেয়েরা কাজের মধ্যে যুক্ত আছে চন্দ্রমন্ডল আভা পোদ্দার আমাকে সহযোগিতা করেছে
মেয়ের বিয়ে হয়ে যাওয়ার পরে আমি বাড়িতে বসেই থাকতাম যে চুপচাপ বসে বসে কাঁদতাম বাড়িটা ফাঁকা কিন্তু এই শ্যামুলি দিয়ে আমাকে বললেন যে বসে থাকো না বাড়ি এখানে এসে কাজ করো আমি নিজে রোজগার করার ফলে স্বামী অসুস্থ হয়েছিল যখন তখন তো ব্যাংকে থেকে রাত্রিবেলার দিকে পয়সা তুলতে পারিনি তখন সেই ঘরের পয়সা জমানো পয়সাতেই আমি তাকে প্রথম আগে হসপিটালে গিয়ে টাকা জমা দিয়ে চিকিৎসা করাই তাছাড়াও আমাদের এখানে যে শরীরের যে কাজ হচ্ছে তাতে নানা রকম ওখানে এসে আমাদের খুব মিটিং হয়েছে যে যাতে জল অপচয় না আমরা না করতে পারি এবং প্রত্যেক বাড়ির বাড়িতে মিটার বসানোর কথাও বলা হয়েছিল ছ নম্বর ওয়ার্ডে জলের যে প্রকল্পটা এসছেন আমাকে এসে বলার পরে আমি পুরো পাড়ায় পাড়ায় ঘুরলাম ঘুরে দেখলাম সত্যি জল খুব অপচয় হয় এবং তখন আমি আমারই পাড়ার দুই বোন কবিতা নিলামকে সাথে নিয়ে প্রত্যেকটা বাড়ি বাড়িতে গিয়ে পাড়ায় পাড়ায় গিয়ে এবং ক্লাবে ক্লাবে গিয়ে বোঝালাম যে জল অপচয় করবেন না ইস जल बंधु मिशन में 2017 से ऐड हुई हूँ मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि ये जल बंधु मिशन बहुत ही अच्छा है और इस जल बंधु मिशन में ऐड होने का सबसे बड़ा मोटिव है अपने पानी को सुरक्षित बचाना ये हमारे फ्यूचर के लिए बहुत ही अच्छा है इस जल बंधु प्रकल्प में 2017 से जुड़ी हुई हूँ पानी की जिस तरह से अभी वेस्टेज हो रहे हैं वो अगर कंट्रोल नहीं किया जाएगा तो आने वाले युग में शायद पानी हमें ना मिल पाए पानी को बचाएं ताकि आने वाले युग में कोई भी परेशानी पानी को लेकर ना हो आगे हमारे एखे जल प्रचुर असुविधा थकत क्योंकि जब थे स्वेजे जलबंधु प्रोग्राम स्टार्ट हो तब थे खूब भलो परिमा जलटा पासी Without the support of uh, these volunteers, uh, the success of this project uh, couldn't be expected at the levels at which we are today. From what we started off with a loss uh, percentage of around say 50% and more, we now in commission DMAs with the support of of the volunteers are in the range of around 3 to 7%, which is a phenomenal achievement considering that the community has rallied around and supported us in terms of making this change. Let's now talk to some of our key stakeholders in Kolkata. I hand over to Mr. Konrad Fernandez, who is the project director. Konrad, over to you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to our global web audience across the globe, to Demos On Demand. A warm welcome from the city of joy, Kolkata. Today, I'm privileged to be accompanied on this panel by very eminent personalities who have been associated with our journey with water loss management in the city of Kolkata. Swiss India has been working closely with the urban local government for the improvement of water supply in the city. And to this end, we have been accompanied by our stakeholders who have been involved with various attempts and social innovations to help towards the objectives of this project. I'm joined today by our chairman, Mr. Tarun Sa, by Mr. Rajat Mohan Chatterjee, who is the head and manager of water loss management projects, Kolkata City, and Ms. Navamita Mukherjee, who is the communication expert from PMC of KEIIP, the Project Implementation Unit. So I'd like to begin this discussion by posing a question to you, Mr. Chatterjee, first. If you could introduce to us the KEIP's objectives for the city under this water loss management program. You know that Kolkata is a very old city. Originally, Kolkata has got 100 words. As the city expands, the areas which are adjoining to Kolkata are added. As a result, at present, Kolkata has 144 words. To make urban infrastructure and environment improvement, Asian Development Bank has provided funds to Kolkata Municipal Corporation for environment improvement of the added areas. And one of the major issues for which we have got funding from both tranche one and tranche two of Asian Development Bank loan is water loss management in the city of Calcutta. KEIP, that is Kolkata Environment Improvement 
impact program that KEIP is a part of KMC, Kolkata Municipal Corporation. And KEIP has taken the challenge for management of water loss in this old city of Kolkata. So how would you, uh, how would you place the success of the project uh, which has been undertaken so far? This area has got the old pipelines, that is the underground infrastructure pipelines are very old. Second point is, it is very close to the Tala overhead reservoir, one of the oldest reservoir of the entire country. This area has got about 16 to 18 hours of water a day. So what we intend to see over here, that whether we can achieve to provide the community and the people living over here to have a equitable distribution of water, equitable pressure and ultimately whether we can reach 24 hours supply pattern from 18 hour supply pattern. Thank you sir for those inputs. Just from the, from the approach uh, that we initially baselined and to the improvement which we have been able to achieve in some of the uh, DMAs that are commissioned. Uh, there's been a huge reduction. Uh, would you like to comment about that? And we have seen that here, the scenario says that water loss is more than 45 percent. As the, we have engaged sewage on a performance-based contract, in that contract, the base, the onasis or, or the basic philosophy is that they have to reduce this water loss down to 15 percent. And out of this 19 DMAs of this entire 1 to 6 words, 7 DMAs has been commissioned and we have got a very good success rate of less than 15 percent of wastage from 45 percent plus. Thank you for, for that feedback, sir. Uh, I would like to now uh, pull in Ms. Navamita Mukherjee into the debate. Social development is, is key to such water loss projects. How do you uh, see the transformation of behavior change through social development initiatives? Social development is not uh, at all possible or social communication is not at all possible without the community outreach program. And uh, from 2017 when Swage is uh, doing this uh, water loss management project, uh, you have uh, involved uh, Jalabandhus because we involved women in our project, in our community reach, out, uh, reach program. Because I believe as a woman, uh, we are the main vocalist in our society. These women, this almost about uh, 500 women of the Peria Level Foundation, Federation, sorry, uh, who are Jalabandhus now, they have done a tremendous job. What would, you, what would you rate among the key success or the key messages that uh, the Jal Bandhus have been able to take to the communities in terms of conservation? Or Here I want to mention that they have got a year-long orientation. Two to six words, they are habituated with more and more water. They don't understand about the water conservation also and these Jal Bandhus make them understand how water is needed for the society, for the benefit of the society. Thanks to Swage and this water loss management program, they have understood all the community members in one to six words. Now they can understand that water is our life and we should not waste in such a way. Thank you for those comments of yours. There has been nobody like an ambassador, more like chairman. We all know his involvement. Sir, you have uh, been the main guiding force to us in terms of the identification of the self-help group which has worked closely with us. In fact, the group, self-help group right. which is created by KAIP which was in the projection of a sewage plant. That time we have created 28 groups. Swage also expressed their interest to create this type of Jalabandhu Prakarp. There is a tail bit of positive pressure is there. That means 30 feet, more than 30 feet water lifting may be done. 
but there is for that reason also there is a huge loss just we are understand the people that water is a precious thing use it precisely for your next generation and river ganga one of the beauties thing mm. in all over india the natural source which water we are producing here this is the safest water we are proud of this water that it is the safest water that we can use just taking from a tap to directly our consumption is a very a very noble thought sir about conservation of water uh, how do you how do you see the future of such social engagement for the rest of the city in fact there is a disparity supply of water equilibrium is to be maintained for every world there is a slogan is there each pan can get 150 liter of water i think this is more than sufficient if we achieve this type of target then the people of kolkata much more happier than other cities of india thank you sir for that message uh, we will now uh, like to introduce our very own jalbandus the women who have been spearheading this program in our second uh, panel of discussion and uh, while we do that we will just go through a round of uh, sanitization of uh, the furniture before we have our participants back on stage i thank all the panelists for joining us on stage today for this webinar While the stage is being disinfected, don't hesitate to post your questions on the chat box and our team will take a few of them in the Q&A session. In Kolkata, we are upgrading the water supply for 400,000 residents. Laying pipes is required, of course, but to make the difference, the challenge is at consumer's end to reduce wastage of water. The Jal Bandhu ambassadors did a fantastic job to disseminate and implement best practices for water conservation. Let's now catch up with uh, some of them and see how they are working along with the community. Back to you, Conrad. Welcome back to our second panel. I'm privileged to introduce our panelists. Mrs. Shamuli Chakrabarti is the president of the Deep Area Level Federation. She has been an active member and without her support, the Jalbandu program would not have been a success. I am also joined with Ms. Abba Poddar, a member of the same Deep uh, Area Level Federation. Uh, she has been a great mobilizer in the community to garner the support of women to join this mission of being Jalbandus. Thank you for joining today. I am also joined by Ms. Bandana Pal, uh, who has uh, recently been associated on the Jalbandu program in the south uh, part of the city and has been very involved with the mobilization of the new community members of Jalbandu and taken some initiatives with basic health and hygiene in the COVID-19 situation. Welcome, Ms. Pal. We will start with, uh, with our first uh, question to Ms. Shamuli Chakrabarti. Aap, uh, aap ke baare mein kuch jo jalbandu ke through uh, community ke beech aap kaam kiye, uske baare mein hume kuch bataiye. 2007 সালের থেকে আমাদের এই কমিটি তৈরি হয়েছে জলবন্ধুর সাথে যুক্ত হয়ে জলের বিষয় নিয়ে আমরা প্রত্যেক বাড়িতে বাড়িতে গিয়ে বুঝানো হয়েছে অনেক জল আগে নষ্ট হতো এখন জলবন্ধুরা আসার পরে প্রত্যেক বাড়িতে বাড়িতে গিয়ে কল চেক করাতে আস্তে আস্তে সেগুলো বন্ধ হয়েছে थैंक यू শামুলি দি আবা জি আপ बताइए कि आपने जो बाकी महिलाओं को एक साथ जुड़ करके आप ऐसे ग्रुप को बढ़ाए हैं उसके बारे में थोड़ा सा आपका एक्सपीरियंस के बारे में बताइए। हमें आभा पुद्दर, हमें 2017 साले श्रीस 
সম্পর্কের সাথে আমি যুক্ত হই জলবন্ধুদের সাথে তো হয়ে আমার সাথে দুটো মেয়ে সাথী ছিলেন তারা তাদেরকে নিয়ে আমি পুরো ঘোষবাগান এলাকা পুরো ঘুরে ঘুরে দেখাশোনা করতাম জল অনেক অপচয় হতো জল অপচয় হওয়ার পরে আমরা বাড়িতে বাড়িতে গিয়ে ভিজিট করি দুটো মেয়েকে নিয়ে নেওয়ার পরে আমি ওদেরকে নিয়ে বললাম যে আপনারা জল এভাবে অপচয় করবেন না জলের মিটার বসানো হলো মিটার বসানোর পরে এখন আমাদের প্রত্যেকটা কলের জল ঠিক মতন সাপ্লাই হচ্ছে থ্যাংক ইউ আবাজি वंदना जी आप थोड़ा अपने काम के बारे में बताइए कि जलबंधु के साथ में आप कैसे जुड़े हैं जलबंधु देर साथे मिसे अनेक बुझते पाछि जल नष्ट करा भालो नय बारी बारी गिए जल नष्ट होचे सेकाने बोलछि जल जाते अपचय कम होक सेटाई भालो कॉल मटामटी खराब होले संग संग दादा देर के बोलले आशे ठीक करे दिए जाय वंदना जी जो अभी जो कोविड चल रहा है तो इसके चलते कुछ आपने कुछ कम्युनिटी के अंदर में कुछ हैंड वॉशिंग और बेसिक हाइजीन के बारे में कुछ करवाए हैं उसके बारे में थोड़ा सा कोरोना आसार पर थे दादा ऐसे बोले जो दुबार साराक्षण जख ही बहरे जाए इसे हाथ धोबें सबान दिए वाश करबें हैंड वाश वाश करबें बाड़ी सबाई के पढ़ें ये हमारे सुविधा हमारे ही भलो बाड़ी पशापाशी लोक सबाई के बला है तेज़ भले ही है thank you to all uh, the panelists in this discussion very uh, very dedicated uh, members of our jal bandhu uh, program who have contributed towards a lot of behavioral change that we have uh, seen uh, in the community whether it be in reduction of uh, wastage or conservation of water by installation of meters at consumer residences as well as float walls in overflowing tanks so i thank you all once again thank you very much for joining this panel i would like to i would like to mr kalish shankar who is the social safeguards specialist of kip uh, under the asian development bank as an independent expert Uh, Mr. Kali Shankar Ghosh uh, has vast experience in uh, social safeguard across uh, the South Asia diaspora and has worked on multiple projects. I'd like to uh, ask you, sir, uh, and pull you into the discussion today with uh, your views about how effective this program has been uh, with regard to the deliverables of the project. Uh, thank you, Mr. Karnat. Um, invite me in this uh, very, very encouraging program. It's really encouraging program. I have attended a lot of uh, webinar uh, program uh, just few months due to the COVID. So, but this is really the community participation. This, this program is really the uh, remembering me the community participation program through us. Uh, first, I would like to thanks Mr. Torun Shah. He is really, really mentor of this project. and um, it is really the community based project created by the kip's working partner uh, swage i have seen uh, several times um, in uh, implementing area there are all the community members uh, with the team leader uh, team leader and uh, other uh, officials of swage they are always involved with the community and co- in this way the community empowered second thing is a very very marvelous thing is created this is the vision of kip that is women empowerment and women at the center of the water so women empowerment women should take the ownership of this program that created already that created i have seen lot of uh, bbs uh, my sisters they are doing a fabulous job along with the social development person of swage especially the team leader always encourage them this program is totally the democratic and decentralized program as like uh, we are going on kensis vision mission is really to um, provide the water basic services water to the community such a community who are really deprived so that is taken through three way traffic everybody said the two way traffic i should say is a three way traffic that is a uh, torun shah respected torun shah and uh, swage and kip that is a phenomenal success uh, i have seen i have seen lot of swage uh, program in india and across the india even the bangladesh dhaka 
and the South Indian. But um, I should say this is the one of the um, already created a milestone for the community outreach program. And this should be replicated in future in whole world. The women should control their resources. They provide the basic services. That handholding uh, uh, program is already completed by the Swedish, the great working partner of KEIP, I should say. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir, for your comments. <clears throat> uh, we can now can open up the floor to the question and answer uh, session, and we'll be happy to take any questions. I'm joined by all our participants as well. You can have your videos on. Uh, thank you, Conrad. Hello, everyone. Let us proceed with the Q&A session. I'm very happy to share with you that our chat box is currently loaded with messages for the German volunteers from Australia, France, Dubai, Spain, from several Indian cities, Mumbai, Coimbatore, Kolkata, Delhi, Bangalore. Everyone is praising and recognizing the wonderful work done by the German volunteers. Joining from Paris writes, it's inspiring to see the commitment of these volunteers. I would rather call them women leaders. Thank you, Joini. They are indeed the leaders. Ankita from Bengaluru says that the world needs more of such passionate Jalbanduj. You are so right, Ankita. I wish I could read all the messages, beautiful messages we have received from you. There are several questions too. I will pick one. Uh, here it goes for you, Conrad. Is there any similar program like that of Jalbandu in India? Uh, well, uh, uh, the concept of a water friend uh, is not new to urban uh, utilities wherever there have been public-private partnership initiatives. But uh, I, I think they have been up to various degrees of success. The, uh, the uniqueness of the Kolkata model is uh, the women at the heart of the community and more importantly, uh, a very uh, successful social uh, self-help group which was mobilized by uh, KEIIP under the leadership of Mr. Tarun Sa. And uh, we were able to ride on the success of, of that self-help group uh, through the Jalbandu uh, program. And uh, I think uh, that's what has uh, brought the difference because how deeply penetrated they were already inside the community. And of course, the dedication of all our Jalbandu volunteers. Thank you for that question. Okay, so can I ask one question to Mr. Bhan? If Mr. Bhan can switch on the camera. Okay, yes, so sir. now we have, we have the camera and the microphone, please. <laughs> okay, so do you have some comments, some feedback for our Jalbandu volunteers? No, uh, you know, it's as someone who has uh, tracked this project and been aware of Jalabandu ambassadors. Uh, so this is nothing of surprise to me. I am aware of these phenomenal ambassadors who have done an outstanding job alongside what Conrad and the KMC and the KIP team is doing to execute uh, the, the project, which was so elaborately explained by Mr. Chatterjee at the beginning in the in the in the uh, back and forth conversation with with uh, Conrad. But I just wanted to make one more point. Unless we are able to replicate Jalabandhu in other parts of India where we have similar projects, we will not succeed as much. Because uh, everybody around the table will acknowledge, along with the density of population in India, uh, we also have disparities uh, of there are uh, some rich folks, there are some middle class folks, and there are some people who are on the edge of a day to day struggle. And these are the people who we have to focus on because we are in the business of public service. I keep reminding everybody when you are in the business of water, you are not just coming for business or for a job. You are in public service and public service is a commitment. Right, And we cannot succeed unless we have these phenomenal women join us to sort of 
convert that strong DNA of Swiss into public service on the ground. And that's why I also started by saying, if you recall, I said it's great to come to these projects and show, showcase technologies, products, and Swiss, and all of that is happening in Kolkata loss management, in Coimbatore uh, loss management, etc. Deployment of substantial digital tools and technologies. But this is basic sustainability in a country like ours, where water stress is there, conservation is the name of the game. We have these phenomenal people engaged and basically making our job so easy that we focus on the technical and they become the brand ambassadors of the message. Thank you so much that I cannot be enough thankful to you. Namita, Mrs. Paul, Shamali Chakrabarti, you are the true heroes and I salute you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, Mr. Van. Thank you very much for these inspiring words. Over to you, Nicola. Thank you, everyone, in for Kolkata session. Now we'll go. Thank you very much. Over to you, Nicola. Thank you, Sivashris. Welcome back. Now let's let's go south to Coimbatore in Tamil Nadu. Coimbatore is the second largest city in Tamil Nadu with a population of 1.6 million. And the city has delegated its uh, water supply to Suez for 25 years via a concession agreement. The objective is to rehabilitate and operate the system 24 by 7 and to manage billing and customer experience. This performance-based concession is the first of its kind in India, and it is paved with multiple technical and social challenges. Today, we have Ms. Kritiha with us. Thank you for, for being uh, there today. As independent director of Smart City Coimbatore, you are at the heart of the environmental transformation of the city. Can you please share your experience and recommendations for a successful stakeholder engagement? Uh, thank you, Mr. Nicholas. And it is uh, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you all for giving me this opportunity. And uh, it is nice being uh, with you and uh, looking at the Kolkata success stories and other sessions since morning. You are making a big uh, effort on water conservation. And uh, having said this, uh, we belong to the progressive state of Tamil Nadu as it is as it ranks first among all the states in India. Uh, why, how progressive it is, I should uh, quote the growth figures of Tamil Nadu. Uh, last year, for 2019 and 2020, 20, Tamil Nadu has posted a, a growth percentage of 8% against the average of uh, Indian average, uh, national average of 4%. 4 so from this, you will know how progressive Tamil Nadu is and the uh, major contributor uh, for the economic growth of the state is Paimato. Since we have a lot of activities here in Paimato, we have industries, we have uh, hospitals, we have education, educational institutions uh, and whatnot. Paimato, is a, as you said, it is a tier two city and uh, contributing much to the growth of the state of Tamil Nadu. So when deciding where, where in India to invest, uh, business leaders consider many factors such as availability of skilled labor, uh, land, uh, better physical and uh, social infrastructure, uh, infrastructure facilities, health, education facilities, traffic conditions, uh, lower pollution levels, environment, uh, more trees and more greening. And uh, last but definitely not the least comes the availability of water. Uh, Paimitra is blessed with uh, two perennial water sources. One is the uh, Sirwani and the other one is uh, uh, the Pillow Water Scheme. And uh, we are blessed with, uh, just because the, these schemes are available, we, are, uh, we were able to cater to this 24-7 uh, water supply. It started its way back in 2013 when uh, Government of India wanted uh, like all urban cities to take up water as a major factor for the uh, welfare of people. As you all must be aware, India considers water as a fundamental right. 
uh, our constitution protects the uh, water and the supreme court uh, has uh, given many of the uh, cases uh, where they where they have said water is a uh, very essential i i factor like so that of the basic needs like food and clothing etc so water is a social asset here and Coimbatore has many civil uh, civil society leaders who have, who have literally translated this to the reality. Uh, we have many NGOs here in Coimbatore uh, considering water as a social asset and uh, they have taken many efforts to uh, restore the lakes, many of the lakes here in Coimbatore. Uh, they, were, uh, they were able to raise the groundwater levels and uh, things like that has been happening since many years, at least some 10 to 15 years in Coimbatore. And uh, this project of uh, 2S 24-7 is a great uh, asset, to, uh, going to be a very great asset to Coimbatore because uh, severe urbanization is taking place and the population is growing by at least 2 to 3 percent per year. And we need more water to cater to the needs of the people. Uh, presently, the system is like this. We don't get a proper uh, water supply uh, every day or even every week. So most of the times it is uh, 15 days for uh, once in 15 days, or during peak summer season it is more than more than that. And the availability of water is not very improper. So uh, so what happens? There is always a problem on the women where where you you all focus on women more. <laughs> And it is water has been a very uh, deterrent to the. Sometimes we get uh, water during the night, water supply during the night, and we need to wake up till the midnight or even past midnight to, uh, to save the water and keep the drinking water for another 10 to 15 days is a big problem. Uh, so, so this is the situation there, and not always we get very clean water. So the quality of water is uh, contaminated because of various factors. And uh, this 24-7 water uh, supply has addressed many of the issues of water, like the quality or uh, the availability. And uh, it's a very great thing to say. And uh, Suez has been done a wonderful job. They've been yet to complete the project, but the uh, project is progressing very well. And uh, we are very happy with it. And uh, I've been personally taking it to the, all the civil society leaders uh, to support this because here in uh, Tamil Nadu or in, even in Coimbatore, uh, anything new is not being accepted uh, very easily. And uh, we, we constantly, there, there have been very um, more protests on, by the political opposition and uh, we have been very vocal on uh, the advantage, saying the advantages of the project. And our uh, Coimbatore Municipal Corporation has been very active in uh, presenting it to the people with all the details and from the business associations of climate to like the Chamber of Commerce, we have been holding uh, special sessions to propagate the advantages of the uh, water scheme. And uh, and uh, so as a capacity, in the capacity of the independent director of the Smart City Board, I will be extending all my help to the project and uh, in the days to come, in the years to come. And uh, thank you to us for coming to Coimbatore and uh, making this project a big success. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Ms. Kritia, for your support and encouraging uh, words. So now let's discover an uh, open innovation initiative developed uh, specifically to engage Coimbatore citizens. It's called Covai Innovate. So, Mr. Anirudan, the floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. Nicola. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Anirudan, Head of Corporate Innovation at NUMA. I'm here to present the Open Innovation Program, Coa Innovate, on behalf of Suez and NUMA. So as mentioned by uh, Mr. Nicola Coimbatore, is the second largest city and uh, it's a hub for universities and also the student group. And our objective through this program is to create an open innovation-based challenge to leverage the ecosystem and make real impact. 
Suez and Numa co-created a community-driven innovation program for the Quantico ecosystem. And our approach to building this program is four-phased. Uh, next. Numa being a design-driven organization anchored the program structure on the strong basis of design thinking methodologies and user centricity. And we also made sure that we considered the needs of the ecosystem in Quantico. We did an extensive user research with the students, universities, NGOs, government officials, and the citizens to gather the insights. And uh, this is the base in which the program has been shaped on. So uh, what is COA Innovate? COA Innovate is an open innovation program for university students to take on real challenges faced by the citizens, organizations of Coimbatore and build solutions to end, help restore, conserve the fundamental elements, water, soil, and air. This program is a platform that sources pressing challenges from citizens and organizations and support university students in developing solutions for these challenges. The four core values associated with this program are the first, the real impact. Challenges presented to the students are real challenges sourced from the very ecosystem of Coimbatore. Second, the expert mentorship. They get an opportunity to be mentored by Suez and its partners and industry readiness this platform helps the students to develop new skills and hone the existing ones by working and collaborating with subject matter experts and industry mentors. And of course, uh, the winners get internship, cash rewards, and also to an extent of student credits and job opportunities. Next, this is a five month program consisting of three phases. The phase one, the source is the challenge statements are sourced from the citizens of Coimbatore and the industry. And there will be a jury sitting and collating it into a problem statement. And this will be sent out as a call for application. Then move on to the phase two, where there will be an evaluation jury will be shortlisting and identifying the first round winners, the nine teams, who will be then taken into the phase three, which is an intense six week hands on mentorship and solution development process. So in the end of round one, they will be having a solution on paper, which comes into the real life. And at the end, they will be pitching in front of the public where the three teams, top three teams from the nine teams will be uh, selected and the awards will be given. And right now we are in the stage where uh, the partners have been identified and we are planning to push it to the next level. And we are looking forward for your support. So in a crux, our intent is to create real impact to the city of Coimbatore and we are looking forward to it. Thank you. And I'm letting the floor to the next partner. Yeah, Mr. Chanchan. Hello, everyone. I am Chanchal Das Gupta from Baruj India Private Limited, and we are a partner of Suez in the Kova Innovate program. I thank Suez for inviting me to this program. For many projects, we see that first the solution is implemented, and then they start finding out where are the problems. It is heartening to know that Suez, with all their innovative solution and global experience, is first trying to find out what the problems of local population are or what is there. Uh, you know, conception of their major problem and then trying to offer appropriate solutions. Buruj is a global manufacturer of polymers, which offer innovating value creating solutions for infrastructure, agriculture, packaging and healthcare. Our sustainable solutions are aimed at conservation of water, soil, energy, reduce emission and carbon footprint. As the Koha Innovate program, aims at addressing the problems of residents of Coimbatore. We fully support this project. We have a strong cooperation with Suez India already, and we'll be ready to do knowledge sharing for this project. Thank you very much, and wish the program all the success. You know, as an academician, perhaps, I feel pretty short of water, but water unites and land divides. Hawaii uh, Innovative Challenge is a pioneering region initiated by Swiss in partnership with NUMA to empower and engage Coimbatore community 
in the water service sector. Currently, deemed the university has shown interest to partner with students in this venture as part of its industry academy collaborate. The student groups of Coimbatore spearhead this challenging program for sustainable environment and to fulfill finally perhaps the sustainable development goals of the United Nations with the motivation and mentoring of industrial house like Suez and Numa, which provide incentives and opportunities to compete in student groups who are conscious of their environment. Recognizing the importance of industry in the academic excellence, Kalinia is in the process of signing a MOU with Suez. Kalinia has a joint project with Suez to estimate chlorine DK rate coefficient by resorting to advanced analytical tool and also laboratory and field studies. The students of KIPS Kalinia are undergoing online training program on water gem software for optimization. And Karina is also involved in investigations on smart water meter systems for quantitative evaluation purposes and even for monitoring. The inputs from these exercises are expected to be useful for Suez in its 24 by 7 water supply scheme. A joint venture of Coimbatore Corporation and Smart City Initiative. Uh, the pioneering and innovative approaches of Suez launched in it for solving environmental and livelihood problems with the participation of academic institutions, their faculty and students, deserve unreserved encouragement and appreciation. Thank you. Thank you. Well, what do you mean, Mr. Hello, once again. There are several questions posted on our chat box with regards to Coimbatore session. So my first question to you, Anirudhan. This question has been asked, in fact, by many participants. What are you trying to solve with this Kobai Innovate program? Uh, yes. uh, so uh, that is a huge gap in our uh, education system. When I'm saying that uh, the, the students have been like well educated, there is a lot of programs out there, like a lot of hackathons and everything. But we, when we did an extensive research, students want to work on a real challenge, which they might uh, take it upon and they want to do a real impact to the society and this challenge fits right in that uh, place where we can help the students the future of the nation to solve this. So uh, I, I personally feel this is what we are trying to solve. Thank you. Thank you Anirudhan. Uh, so we can probably pick another question have some time. Again for you Anirudhan. Uh, been from Chennai, he is curious to know why are you considering only the student community? So, uh, yeah, as, as, I, as I mentioned, that uh, students are the pillars of the nation, the future pillars of the nation. And if you take, there are a lot of programs out there for startups, even like if I am entering into a workforce, I'll be trained well. But again, the students who, who need the right intervention at the right time. And we feel with this pandemic and everything going around, involving the students, and we are also involving the community, and this is the right way to do it. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. So I would like to thank everyone for messages and questions. We could pick only a few of them because of shortage of time, but we really, really appreciate your interest and feedback for our sessions. Can I request Mr. Bhan to conclude uh, the session with his remarks? Over to you, Mr. Bhan.
Thank you, uh, Sebushri. Uh, it's been quite an informative one hour, but uh, as I said at the start of the start of the hour, that our uh, presentations uh, will only showcase uh, the diversity of India, and uh, I think uh, you've seen that we were in the east eastern part of the country, Kolkata, and then we went down to the southern part of the country, uh, state of Tamil Nadu, uh, Coimbatore, and I was. Uh, very impressed to see the uh, remarks. Uh, you see and hear the remarks of uh, Miss Reddy, Rita Reddy, the, one of our uh, brand ambassadors and, and testimonial speakers. And uh, by the way, ma'am, uh, I'll be in your city tomorrow to just follow up on on the project progress. And we truly appreciate uh, the support uh, that you have been uh, providing in galvanizing the community and uh, outreach with those who still have questions about the project. Uh, we started also by saying that our India as a country has got its uh, diversity of both the population, but as well as the income groups. And some of our cities are most uh, crowded with a lot of people who need help. And therefore our outreach for them is the most important outreach. And I think these two uh, examples of our projects uh, perhaps uh, shine the light on that. Uh, there is no doubt in my mind that both of these projects in, in Kolkata as well as in Coimbatore will be showcased uh, at the end of the day when they are completed and commissioned. Uh, we have confidence not only in our group's capabilities but our local teams on the ground as well. But we'll not be able to succeed unless we have uh, done a very good job of mobilizing community appreciation and community groups and activists who basically believe in it. And as uh, Madam Kriti, Kriti, Krita already said, that uh, there still remains uh, opposition to these type of improvement projects because people believe that that status quo is always uh, better and known. And what is not known can basically uh, come back to sort of a, cause a bad surprise. And we need to overcome that impression as well. Uh, everybody at Suez India, uh, like the rest of our group, we are part of a very, very large global groups of uh, enormously talented, hardworking, committed uh, Suez employees and staff the world over. Our uh, people performed uh, amazingly with dedication during the lockdowns around the world. Essential services were maintained, and that was the case in Indian cities where Suez is present. Uh, as a service provider. And we'll continue uh, to, to do that because everybody at Suez, including Suez India, believes that we're not simply in a job. As I said earlier, we are in public service delivering essentials of life. And water is an essential of life. And to that, we are absolutely committed. And we continue to rely upon members of the communities wherever we are and serve to please support us, help us to make us better and your cities better and your neighborhoods better where water is one common thing across all income groups across all society segments and if we can get this thing right in a few cities of india it will open basically a whole lot of opportunity for everybody to improve their lot wherever uh, people are suffering today for lack of uh, good quality portable water to the standards that they deserve and pay for once again, on behalf of uh, Suez India and, of course, my uh, group, Suez, I thank you for taking the time to, to join from wherever you are, giving your time, asking questions. And uh, we're at your service now, and we shall always be at your service for as long as you repose your trust in us. Thank you so much. Thank you.